What happens with the top then? Do you just let that just be all night? Oh, look yeah, at that. Exactly. Lovely. And then Thanks. the, uh, yeah, so. But this is like a really dead simple. I don't think I've ever eaten a duck's egg. Haven't you? It's just a battery. I've never eaten a duck's egg. My mum used to make cakes with duck's eggs because we had ducks at one point. But I've never eaten one like just like that. Um, so these are these are separate dishes. Can I nick a little bit of the Go toast to dip in the egg? Yeah. Do you mind? Of course. Have we got? Um, I've got to say, oh, we need knives and forks. Here, look. First of all, we've got to taste that bloody Mary egg. Yeah. Right, let's have a little Thank tidy you. up. This we can get stuck in. Are you quite a messy chef? No. Do I look messy? No. no. Just ask <laughs> because you said you would eat spread. When did you start then? What was the? What, 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 when did you get into the business? When did you start? I didn't know what to do when I was leaving school, so I ended up going to catering college. Two years down in Dorset, then headed to London. Yeah. And sort of worked in hotels in Park Lane, and then ended up working for Chris and Jeremy at the uh, Caprice Ivory Shikis mm -hmm. for about 18 years, One of the... running, you know, the food and stuff. One of the really important things in your that Tabasco um, dressing, by the way, just stunning. is delicious. Good job. Um, so good. Right? One of the important things in your restaurant is um, locally sourced, yeah. fresh produce, it in season. Key. Yeah, it's key, you know. I mean, Sorry. A, a, dish, you know, a dish like this, for example, you Dunk can create that Ooh. dish from Apologies. just within a few miles, you know. Yeah. I just think want to tie everything on. Food one. miles these days is really important. You know, Boa Market, you can get everything under one roof. Uh, what are your favourite stores in here? Well, they, you know, they've changed a bit over the years, but, you know, you can buy fantastic cheese from Neil's Yard. Uh, the Wright brothers, you know, have great oysters. Uh, and I think anything you want, I don't think there's anything here you probably can't get. You can get fresh truffles in season. Yeah. You know, you can get everything. Fish. And also, it's a good place to come and, like, you shouldn't be scared of it because you should come in and, and ask questions and, and find out about different foods. Because sometimes it can be intimidating trying new things. Yeah. We all buy the same ingredients in our shopping basket, but you can come here and it's like. Well, I always found in here when I've walked through this here. This is so good. That everyone is such a bunch of foodies that they want to talk yeah. about it. Yeah. And the thing yeah. I love is that, you know, you're handing your money to the person that grew or produced the stuff, whether yeah. it be oysters or whatever. So, you know, if you go to a supermarket, you don't really know, you can't ask the guy, you know, where it comes from or how it's grown. It's a stunning mark. Thank love you that. very, Perfect very much indeed. Absolutely brilliant. What a lovely Thank way to end the show.